हेलो गाइज आई एम सैयद मुजीर हाशमी यू कैन कॉल मी मुजीर आई एम प्रिंसिपल कंसल्टेंट एंड मैनेजिंग पार्टनर एट फोर्सी सोल्यूशंस आई एम एन इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम एन आई टी कर्नाटका आई डिड माई ग्रेजुएशन इन एलेक्ट्रिकल एंड एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आई लव डिजिटल एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड ड्यूरिंग माई कॉर्पोरेट स्टेंट आई वॉज इन टू एम्बेडेड सिस्टम्स सो हियर इज़ अ गाय हु वॉज यू नो uh working with oscilloscopes and voltage levels and then moving to a full stack development uh doing uh, html css bootstrap and javascript python everything okay so uh when i was in japan uh, for like 2 years doing automotive uh, infotainment platform development on linux so when i uh, there were some inevitable reasons i had to come back and then uh, when i had to come back Uh, i started with uh, i had to start on my own so uh, we wanted to push technology uh, with msme uh, basically because uh, people were losing out opportunities because they are not adopting to the technology okay so uh, basically with their process and accounting they were very weak so we were looking for solutions which are like cheap and which are open source because i come from linux background so erp next uh, strikes the chord there because uh, uh, they pledge to be open source okay so a big shout out to uh, i mean team frappe and rushab specially uh, so i just wrote like uh, things uh, and then uh, we started uh, with healthcare and education sector uh, so because we wanted to bring in change there uh, especially in the tier 2 cities and tier 3 cities okay uh, but uh, from past uh, like 8 to 10 months we are only doing retail and services uh, but here we are sharing our uh, experiences uh, with healthcare domain specially uh, again uh, ardians uh, they have done a tremendous job uh, putting it out there into the erp next uh, so when we started with uh, healthcare uh, there was a, a, a request uh, that came from a multi speciality hospital uh, so they were uh, Uh, turned to covid center in the first wave okay so their requirement was like uh, very minimal uh, so there were not many lab tests so and there were no outpatient services as well so what they were doing is like just doing the covid test and if is positive he gets he gets admitted so it looked like uh, a very uh, good implementation and easy implementation and uh, we thought of adopting to erp next but when we started off uh, we started feeling the challenges because uh, inpatient uh, uh management in erp next uh, was not like completely tested out in production okay uh, there were some challenges like uh, inpatient occupancy itself is uh, not one line item it is usually a product bundle you know they have the room rent uh, and then i mean room charges and then they have nursing charges primary doctor charges so they bundle up uh, to be one item uh, per day that is getting charged so that was something which was uh, not coming out of the box uh, so we had to do uh, we we used product bundles to uh, handle that and then uh, there was no scope of adding ip services uh, like there are a lot of ip services that a uh, patient gets uh, when he is admitted into the hospital uh, which they usually track in a ip record okay so there was no provision to uh, manage those so we had to do some customizations uh, like uh, provision to add ip services Uh, and uh, they wanted uh, reporting also uh, like uh, what is the total amount of uh, services uh, that were given i mean the uh, whatever the bill would turn out to be okay so that they collect the uh, patient advances accordingly you know uh, then uh, when creating the invoice uh, what happens is uh, if there are like same line items they do not group together what happens like uh, if there are like multiple patient encounters they come as separate line items so, so that is not something which is expected so we worked on that so we had to override uh, the core class methods of uh, sales invoice uh, so we had uh, uh, luckily uh, that provision came uh, through hooks so we utilized that and uh, discharge summary uh, entering was not very intuitive so we we developed separate doc type for discharge summary uh, where uh, uh, it is template based uh, so uh, like uh, you can have discharge summary template like normal or uh, discharge or it's like uh, discharge against uh, medical advice uh, or it's a death discharge so 
based on the templates, the uh, content gets auto-populated, a lot of content, and uh, uh, I can show the... Uh, no, I can show it on the live site, if uh, it is there. Yeah, so... Uh, I have some screenshots uh, where I'll show you how it looks like. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, there are some other, uh, like even with the descriptive lab test, we made it like on that. So this is one of the implementation uh, which we have done for uh, a multi-speciality hospital in my town. Uh, so uh, this site is also completely integrated with ERP Next. Now this is the report I was talking to you about, uh, which shows uh, uh, what is the total inpatients and what is the invoiced amount, what is the paid amount, what is outstanding, which is not, un, uh, I mean, uninvoiced amount. So whatever services are being given, but still not yet invoiced. And uh, then what are the advances the patient has uh, paid and what is the closing balance? So based on uh, such kind of report, the operations of the hospital work. So and then there was this uh, show detail button here. So you click on the show detail button. So it will uh, list out what are those uh, IP services uh, that are uh, yet to be built. Okay, and the rates also. Uh, and uh, this was uh, another uh, uh, customization, uh, which we have also raised a pull request for this. Uh, so some of uh, people have used, but it is, uh, uh, I mean, it is not merged, but uh, this was a requirement where uh, the lab test, uh, you know, selectively you can select and, yeah, uh, combine together. So this is how uh, a print format would look like. Otherwise, uh, the uh, the lab test results come on individual pages. So you end up with wasting a lot of uh, pages. So this is our wish list for healthcare. Uh, some of these uh, are already in the roadmap. Uh, some uh, we also uh, are, uh, are doing some customizations uh, and uh, working with uh, uh, team at Frappe and other players who are into this uh, closely with them. Uh, and then this is the education sector we worked with. Uh, we, uh, actually I have uh, less time, so I'm running it a little fast. Uh, so we have done implementation for admission management, uh, for student directory, enrollments and fee management uh, in an education society which has like multiple institutes. So that is quite possible with ERP Next. And uh, uh, the challenges we have is like fee category can be linked to item doc type and it can be, uh, you know, uh, fee management can be done through invoices so that we, uh, we can manage stock items as well as non-stock items, so inventory automatically, uh, automatically gets managed. Okay, then uh, uh, some features which are not there and uh, uh, would be wonderful is the integration with Google Meet and Google Classrooms to manage academics online. So these features can be there. Uh, even with healthcare, Google Meet uh, can be used to uh, provide telemedicine. Uh, then our learning, uh, everyone is not a developer and every change is not generic. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it from me.